Okay, okay. One more story and then it's time for bed. <laughs> there were three cats from New Orleans who climbed up to the moon on a ladder made of gossamer thread hung by a spider who stood on her head while listening hard as best she could to the cry of a lonely loon. The cats, they took a pot of tea and a bag of cinnamon scones along with a jar of marmalade, a cloth designed with fine brocade, a knife, a spoon, a sugar cube, and a pair of dried up bones. When they arrived, they all set out to see what they could see, leaping, pouncing, twisting, twirling, suddenly still, then suddenly whirling, having a party as old as a fun where there isn't much gravity. Proceeding this way, it didn't take long to enter a cratery gloom. A great many things of varying size appeared before their dazzled eyes. They couldn't believe it and started to laugh on the other side of the moon. They could see a thousand toy boats torn loose from their docks, a million stray sheep too far from their flocks, a billion sad keys all missing their locks, a trillion or so mismatched dirty socks, tattered teddy bears that once were so loved, till into the corner they were carelessly shoved, buttons and ribbons and earrings galore that had fallen through the cracks in Array, rusty fishing hooks from the Bay of Biscay, plenty of homework that never went to school, cause it fell off the table, rolled under a stool. All had disappeared without any trace, so it was thought, your honor, your grace, but now the cats had found the place where the many lost things of the human race must make. of their room, lapped their milk from a golden spoon, far from the cry of a lonely loon, purring with plans for returning quite soon, to the other side of the moon. 